it's um, two thirty in the morning, and I just came back from my friend Fane's, and uh, I want to do this tutorial because I got nothing better to do. <coughs> For some reason, I don't really feel like sleeping tonight, so I'm just yeah, going to do this tutorial on the cloth modifier. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new, I'm going to erase all. Previously, that was the original tutorial that I recorded. Alright, add a mesh, add a plane. Scale that up. Top of there. Set your cube. Rotate it. All right. Now go into edit mode with your cube. Press W. Subdivide it. Subdivide it again. Subdivide it more until someone shouts, "Hey, buddy!" That's way too many subdivisions, you know, you're gonna damage your computer, dude. But, since it's 2.30 in the morning, no one's gonna come into my room and say that. So then, I get out of object mode, and I now go down to my buttons, which I cannot, which you cannot see, so, Alright, what I'm going to do is I am going to go into my object, which is F7, and you should see three things that um, are object, physics button, and the particles. So, yeah, click on the physics button, click on cloth, you should see uh, many different options. Um, but pinning of the cloth is an option that I'll explain about later. Yeah, I wish you could see this, but this software doesn't really allow it. But, alright, that should be affected now. Alright, now select your cube in the, in the same physics button section. To the left of the cloth modifier you should see fields and collision click on collision and click on the collision button you will see many different options but don't worry about that at all that is for the cube All right. now then to prove that I've actually done this I'm going to press ALT A by selecting that thing again alright ALT A and you'll see that's actually moving and it's slow because I have subdivided it like hell in the words of Agent 47 Crows and it'll stop like that because my computer is slow and has no dual core 256 megabytes of RAM this is an example of it and I hate it that should be enough All right. Now, kids, you want to see something cool in your pointless lives, click on Wait Paint and make a little dot of redness here and here. Alright, now get out of... Now, go into pinning of the cloth. You should see group and pin stiffness. Don't worry about those at the moment. But if you press Alt A, it'll explain it for itself. Oh, what you should be seeing is the cloth um, being very affected by the gravity in the blue area and in the red in the city gradient to the red and green it shouldn't be affected at all that's quite cool I really quite like that so 
that's basically the cloth modifier. You could also, if we delete, if we take away the cube and replace it with a empty mesh, if we go, if we again go into, if we again see in the physics button sections for for the cube for the um, empty selected, we should see fields. Right now, this should have none on it, but click on it and go to directly wind. Sorry, go directly to wind. You will have strength, noise, and position. Use, use all off max distance, min, minimum distance. Don't worry about the all, all off max distance and minimum distance. You're concerned with strength. Put that to about 15. Okay, and then we'll press Alt A, and you can see for yourself that it will be affected dearly. Like I said, this is actually how like those those um cool um ah now that's a glitch. See, it's going on itself. To avoid that problem, you have you go into um, you have to activate the self collision f in the cloth section, but that'll take a bit. That'll take a lot more time and a lot more energy of the computer. Also, it's the fact that there's no wind resistance. It goes directly through the cloth. All the wind resistance. If I somehow take, if I took my hand in it, and placed my hand directly over that cloth, I would still have the full oomph of wind. But, well, if you take any hand, really. It should be cool. But, <sighs> that's basically your cloth modifier for you. It's very useful. There's a really nice video of this this um, dancer in a red dress that was used and it's probably a promotional sh shot for the cloth modifier that's a good example of it and I think the guy that made that used um, weight paint to hold the dress on the shoulders or something like that alright um, that's it uh, I've, mm, I'm now gonna go on go online on Mario Kart and rape some Australians. Alright, I'll see you guys later and I'll do another tutorial. Probably one that's not gonna be at night time, but who knows. Alright. Sorry you didn't get to see the buttons by the way, I'll do that another time. So I'll see you guys later.